Oi, over here. Come here. First there was man. Then there was the wheel. Then there is the god particle of gastronomy that is the culinary lockdown of full satisfaction in the scallop burger with Kim Kardashian. Kim John Un. Kim John Un. Slutty little Kim. Kim Catrell. I mean Kit, no. Kim, Kit, Kit, Kim skimmed milk. So, scallop burger with Kimchi. It's what I said in it. You tell me what you think it's worth. Go. Let's get the Kim Kardashian done. So let's take the Napa cabbage, also known as Chinese cabbage, and prep it up. Roughly chopped into a large bowl. And then make sure you give it a good salting. And that means using this beautiful sea salt. Next thing, cover with water. Put something firm on the top and then leave it for a minimum of 12 hours. Okay, let's get the rest of the ingredients done. I've got some more common sort of radish that you can use. So let's take four and prep those down. And I'm just slicing them through any old how. Now, some scallions or spring onions. Right, so we need some garlic and ginger as well. Thank you. Just take the heels off and then just add a little bit of salt, a little bit of oil, and then you can turn it into a paste. And the salt works as an abrasive to break it down. Now, ginger. Get it down into slices and then into dice. Right, we've got some dried salted shrimp. I just need to blitz down into a powder. Right, so we've got our shrimp, I've got my Korean chilli powder, now let's put these with the other ingredients all into the cabbage. Okay, now here's the cabbage. It's been salted for well over 12 hours and then I've washed it about three times to get rid of that salt. A tablespoon of the shrimp, half a tablespoon of the chilli powder, a tablespoon and a half of ginger, a tablespoon of garlic, and then I'm just gonna scrape in the spring onions and the radish. A tablespoon of caster sugar. Finally, we want some fish sauce. You want about four tablespoons. Right, now let's incorporate all those ingredients. Now that's not ready to go yet. It's gotta be left to ferment for 24 hours. So put it into a jar and put it to the side. Right, so that's the kimono done. Let's get the scallop burger ready. So, scallops, just take the rows off. You can't use them in this recipe. A good thing to use the rows for is to put them on a baking sheet um, and just dry them out in a really low oven and then you can use them as a seasoning, like a, uh, a sea salt, basically. You need to slice these and then dice them. So on each scallop you've got a heel, you just need to make sure that you slice that off. And what you need to do is you're basically mincing down the scallop so it's nice and tight. So into a bowl, some salt, freshly cracked pepper, and then a teaspoon of sesame oil. Incorporate those ingredients. Okay, now let's make these into patties. Take half the mixture into your hand, bring it together, Pan on, slice your brioche buns, and then into the pan. Right, while they're toasted, I'm gonna make a little, simple lime mayo. So, mayonnaise into a bowl, then lime, zest in, cut and squeeze a third in. Salt, pepper, half a teaspoon of sriracha. Mix. Right, buns are done. Now we're gonna get the scallop burgers in. Now here's a great little tip. You've put them onto greaseproof paper, put them in on the greaseproof paper. The reason why we use greaseproof is it's a hack for a greaseproof pan. You still get the caramelization, but it doesn't stick. So they take about a minute and a half, two minutes either side until they're beautiful and caramelized Then just flip them over. Right, let's get these out, put some sesame oil back in and then flip them back down. Right, they're done. I've turned the gas off. Let's build the burger. First thing, mayo onto the base. Burger's out. And place this guy on. 
Okay, now this is the kimchi I made two days ago. So I'm just gonna move that around and garnish on the top with it. Garnish with a sprinkle of sesame seeds and another grate of lime zest. Okay, these burgers are nearly ready to go. What we've got to do is we've just got to bring them back to life in the pan. So here's a little tip. Get your burgers, move them into your hot pan, then just drizzle a tiny little bit of water and then steam them. Burgers out. Okay, their burgers are ready. There's a crowd to taste them. Come here. I reckon these are five pound, okay? Let's see what these think. Right, lads, come in. Scallop burger with kimchi and a lime mayo. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Holy cow. Good? Very, very good. Delicious? Mm -hmm. Happy? Tasty? Okay, okay. We're going to go to the first one. He's the tallest. What's your name? My name's Rasmus. Rasmus. How much, brother, for a whole one? For a whole one? I'll probably say five or six quid. I'll take it. What's your name, brother? Between James. James, how much? Say between seven and four. I'll take it. Now we're going to the third. What's your name, brother? Thomas. Thomas? Mm. How much, bro? Definitely five pounds would be good. I'll have that. And then finally... Christian. Christian. Good facial hair. What do you say, Christian? How much is it worth? I'll give you eight. That's it. That's it. Job done. <laughs> you know you've actually got to pay for them now. <laughs> Come on, people. 4 nil. need I say any more. For my brothers, knocking it in the back of the net because that was a killer burger. But what would you have paid for it? Let me know in the comment box below. Like, share, subscribe because, people, that was my scallop burger with kimchi. I said it! <laughs> I said it! What was it? it? Uh, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you like this one, you're going to love my short rib. It's flipping incredible, and it's over kimchi. Kim, kimchi, yeah, it's delicious. Go on, have it. Go on, go on. Stick it in your mouth. Oh, you filthy, dirty rotter, you. Oh, oh, oh.